What's up, everybody? We're back with another snack crate. Right? This one's from Israel. I'm hungry. Let's do this. Bisley. Bisley falafel. Wow. Is it? Start with, yeah. Oh. It says, uh, this crunchy and savory wheat snack is flavored like a Middle Eastern snack falafel. It is seriously difficult to eat just one. I got some. I got some. <laughs> it's really crunchy. Kind of reminds me of uh, corn chips. Yeah. They are. They're right. It's hard to eat just one because I'm trying to figure out where the flavor is. It contains gluten. Gluten is gluten. You gotta, like, watch, you gotta watch out for that. Stay out here. Alright. Mm. That's like a two. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm giving that a two. Because it's not nasty, there's just no flavor. What kind of shit is that? Bamba. Bamba. Bamba peanut snack. A peanut flavored puff corn snack. By far the most popular snack sold in Israel. It smells like a uh, peanut butter toast crunch. It smells like dog food. Peanut butter cotton crunch, whatever it is. Yeah, okay. Oh my oh, god. Somebody. No. It tastes like peanut butter cheese puffs. Like that one's like, okay, you put it in your mouth, it feels like a cheese puff. You bite it and it's like straight air. There's nothing there. That's a one. That's a hard pass. How oh, dare you insult my taste buds like that. I didn't do this to you. Bissell. Another Bissell. Is it? Yeah. These crunchy wheat snacks are flavored with the zesty tomato flavor of pizza. I like it. Well, it's not bad. It's definitely the best so far. Everything tastes like corn chips. But it's because it has gluten. Yeah. Gluten. Like stop with the gluten. No, watch out for that. It's everywhere. I'm gonna go too. Mainly because it, it all of this lacks flavor. I mean, it's like crazy flavor, but I'm gonna give it a three. Cookies. Those are Libers. Libers Aleph D's cookies. The fuck? Sweet and crunchy cookie squares with Hebrew letters pressed into the top. Into the top. Munch and learn. Okay, first of all, the word munch. Let's let's not. We're supposed to learn what letter it is. Right, if you don't even know. It's not on the back. It looks like no, um they said we got cookies like this over here. Yeah. Christian cookies. Oh, shut up. So it's just got a bunch of crosses. I'm, I'm going to be really upset because this looks like it should be good. But I'm going to be upset. It's like, this is what you would, Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams. Yeah. Agreed. It's like, Teddy. it was a slow start for that. It was like, I didn't get any sweetness until the end. I mean, I'd eat them. Like, it's like, No other snack left. Five grams of sugar. No disrespect. I know. That's the thing. Oh, sorry. Moving on. To my favorite part of the box. <laughs> Here, they got one for you. They got one for you. They got one for you. Yeah, we like these because, you know, we just love air, apparently. And, you know, we just you have to, you have to like, puff it up real good and hold it like this. <laughs> I didn't wait for you. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't wait for you at all. It was good. Are you gonna finish yours? No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not even hungry. You struggled a lot. I was, fr I was afraid, I was, I was about to combine scared and afraid together. You were up. Oh, that looks good. I mean, those are oodles. These tiny fruit shoes 
are popular treats throughout Israel. We include either blue raspberry or green apple flavor. We got both, they must like this. I swear these are just fancy nerds. <laughs> I got the rocks. Oh they puffed up. I didn't get so much. I couldn't pour properly. Yeah. It's like gum. It tastes like sweet tarts. It tastes like that off brand gum you just buy at Walmart. What, so big, like, big league chews? Yeah, something like that. He's gonna steal my shit. Okay. I like these. I give them a five. They're hard to eat. I feel like they'll get stuck in your teeth. They do get stuck in your teeth. Like, if you have a cavity, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for myself because I got like two. Yeah, I'll give them five too. Next is fruit topping. Bite sized chews that feature a variety of sweet and fruity flavors. Alright. They gave us strawberry, lemon, and green apple. Green apple? Mm hmm. I feel like wax. Yeah, that's why. Looks good. I don't like it. It like it reminds me of that hard ass strawberry candy with the little gooey center. What? We used to have more time at church. Mm -mm. It don't even taste like green apple. It, doesn't it tastes like apple. It tastes like shit. It's green. And green it shit. Like apple. Agree to disagree. It's an elite yogurt hard candy. Colorful hard candies that are made with yogurt and paired strawberry and blueberry. I know blueberry is in here. It tastes like cream shaker. I don't want that. It's good. It's like a fancier cream saver. Yeah. All the plus side of cream saver without the bad breath. Will you ever have them now? Right. Oh my god. You never know. You never know. Say that for later. I'm just gonna take that. What are you doing? I'm saving it for later for me. Wow. Okay. okay. I liked it. I give it, I give it a four, just because it's, it's not gonna touch cream saver to me. I get a five, mostly because it reminds me of my childhood. Oh. Hush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's a doo-doo log. A what? It's a doo-doo log. Okay. Chocolate log. It says these milk chocolate. Well, on. these milk chocolate bars are made using a special technique that gives them the appearance of real wooden logs. And I don't know how I feel about it because I felt it and I mean it's hard. Was it soft to break off? I mean, I'm strong. I like to think I'm strong. It doesn't have like that. Oh. It tastes like, I mean, it smells like nougat. That's what I was going to say. It looks like, it feels like it. It you breaks take, apart like that. You know, take, take the crumbs. Oh, looks like shit in my hand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Looks like doo-doo. It's actually not bad. Yeah. It's like a, like a lighter Hershey bar. It reminds me of uh, Milky Way. Not Milky Way, Three Musketeers. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. And it's a little harder. This? Yeah, I'll say I give it a four. I give it a four just because it's chocolate. Yeah. I just give it a four because I'm not a three musketeer fan. It's and that nougat, nougaty center. You don't know what you're missing. Hmm? So you don't know what you're missing. I'll pass. 
We'll go ahead and keep on this chocolate train. What is that? Uh, click. Click. <laughs> click. <laughs> A few moments later. Click and cream. See, the look name. It's clicking. Right there. Click in cream bar. I mean, sometimes you, you, know, you just gotta click in. Just click all the way in. And you know what I'm saying? Morning after. You never know. A sweet, crispy bar filled with creamy milk, then coated with white and milk chocolate. <laughs> now look at that. It's like a, a reverse Kit Kat. Yeah, I was about to say that I flipped it up and I saw the bottom. Yeah, it looks like a reverse Kit Kat. Or Nutty Buddy. These comparisons, you're, you're on know. today. I'm just. This is the classes. It smells like a nutty bar. Yeah. But, yeah. When, I mean, if they had white it's chocolate. Like, think of a nutty bar and a Nestle Crunch when a Kit Kat had a baby. They all had a threesome, somebody got pregnant. And now you have a Kit Kat, Nutty Buddy, Crunch Baby. That's what this tastes like. Or just a white chocolate, Nutty Buddy. No. <laughs> Nutty Buddy, a Nestle Crunch, and a Kit Kat. <clears throat> they had a threesome, somebody got pregnant, and boom, that was born. First of all, which one is the male? It does not matter. Somebody got pregnant. Oh That's good. I like it. That's a five. Yeah, that's a five. Again. This one is vegan friendly. Elite Torted. Torted. It's a delicious wafer bar filled with almond cream, then dipped in rich milk chocolate. So it's safe to say they like peanut butter and chocolate. So everything in here is like chocolate based, or peanut butter based. Look at it. It looks like the chair. <laughs> I'm about you. There you go. This is a Kit Kat. Oh, you yeah, can't tell me. This is like anything. a dark chocolate Kit Kat. Oh. You just, you gonna vacuum. Oh, uh uh. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. Hell no. 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 I couldn't do it. <clears throat> that tastes like. The smell of bubbles. It definitely does taste vegan. Get you out. I wish the water on my shirt. I like it though. One. Yeah, zero. A fat one. Because it tasted like the smell of bubbles, like the bubbles you blow. And then as I was chewing it, I started getting the smell of a nail shop. The acrylic. Oh my it's God. too much. That is. Pesic Zaman? Pesic Smith? Pesic Smith? That. You know, I've noticed that a lot of this stuff is by the same companies. Well, they need to. Like the candy and the bars are elite from the company Elite, and the other ones are from Osman. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's a, um. This popular treat features wa oh, I say waffles. Wafers filled with hazelnut cream, then dipped in milk chocolate. Chocolate! Wafers, chocolate, peanut butter. That's that's the theme of this box. On three. How you gonna say on three and then go I for said your, three. I'm not your friend. Black Panther judging this. Mm-hmm. They can't see it on the bottom. I feel. Yo. I like the hazelnut. This tastes like turtles without nuts. What is it? Oh, you the never chocolate? had turtles? Nice. Would you watch Everybody Hates Chris? Yeah. His mama loves her turtles. That candy. That's oh. what this tastes like. Mmm. Gluten. I'm gonna put a gluten count on the screen. We got gluten all over the place. We ain't even gluten free. Oh, that's good. Mm. I give this a five. Yeah, I give it a five. Again, more so the, the hazelnut saved the chocolate part. 
Arahamwa. Achiva, Halva, Halva. Okay. First of all, you, look what you gave me. Made from ground sesame and sugar, this snack is unique to the Middle East. It's normally served in giant blocks in a variety of flavors. That's why sorbet is in it. That look like chalk. It's from the jalapeno grass. We're not gonna dive, dive divulge into that. Three, two, no. one. No. No, instantly. Instantly, no. And you know what it doesn't have on it? Gluten. Exactly. If it had gluten, it tastes way better. They just pulled down all their spices off the spice rack and said a little bit of this shit, a little bit of that shit. They gonna, we gonna fuck it up in this kitchen and they gonna like it. But we didn't like that at all. I've literally had chalk to taste it better. Out of all of these, what's the one you did not like at all? Like, it was the worst. The sesame halva. But look at that, like, what is that? Favorite thing. Your favorite thing. The candy. Yeah. The oodles. What's uh, your favorite? I would actually say the hazelnut chocolate. Yeah. Mostly because those kind of, those are, those are cavity hunters. If you like this video, leave us a like down below, comment, we'll talk back to you. And Subscribe. share. Share this video with your friends, family, enemies, don't matter. We like everybody for the most part. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Bye. It's the type of shit that they read about. Like Chris said, I gotta bleed it out. I've been in the zone, I can't be without this real shit that I be about. I'm a visionary that's long term, but Def Jam said they need it out. If I rush the shit, I might be without, but I need a vision.